will find us in every supermarket and in every department store. Packaging made of cardboard and corrugated board. More often than not, it is these two materials that enhance the sale of a product and make it possible to transport it safely. People rarely ask themselves, however, where the packaging comes from. Papier und Kartenfabrik Faro happens to be one of the few production plants where both cardboard and corrugated board materials are manufactured out of recovered paper at a single location. Our multi-production facilities allow us to meet virtually any demand for customized board and paper. It is indeed no secret that our products are at the heart of many packaging solutions. Three basic resources are necessary to manufacture high-quality packaging materials made from recovered paper. Energy, supplied by electricity and steam, water, and of course, recovered paper. Papier und Kartenfabrik Farrell uses energy for its production that is supplied by our company-owned co-generation power plant. The two environmentally friendly sources of this power plant are natural gas and biogas, which is obtained during the purification process in our in-house water treatment plant. Initially, gas turbines along with biogas engines generate electricity. The residual heat of this process is then further used to generate steam in boilers. In a second process, steam turbines again transform the steam into electricity. After this multiple utilization of the heat, it is fed to the production process to dry the board and paper. The heat emitted during the production process serves to heat the plant's fresh water intake and maintain an even temperature throughout the facility. As a result, the state-of-the-art combined heat and power system achieves an energy efficiency of over 90%. Water is the second basic resource required for manufacturing paper and cardboard. By applying a complex combination of state-of-the-art filtration technology, we treat and retreat water over 100 times throughout the production cycle before it's finally purified in a three-stage biological process water treatment plant. The treated water is then reintroduced into the production cycle or eventually released into the ocean, Jade Bay, or the environment in compliance with the strictest limits. We are leaders in modern water management and thus set standards in the industry. We have been making use of the third resource, recovered paper, as a source of raw fiber in our production process since the 1950s. Recovered paper has proven to be a complex raw material to work with due to its varying composition and different properties. This makes it a great challenge for paper industry engineers to create a uniform and high-quality product out of this inhomogeneous raw material. Every truckload of recovered paper we receive is immediately inspected on arrival and then analyzed in our laboratory. According to a prescribed procedure, forklifts bring the different bales to the conveyor belts, which transport them to the pulpers. Pulpers are huge containers in which the recovered paper is transformed into a homogeneous fiber paste through the addition of water and the churning action of a rotary blade. The technical term for this paste is pulp. Coarse foreign matter contained in the bales, such as wire and plastic foil, becomes entwined by a centrifugal force during the churning process, forming a kind of braid called ragger rope. This material is eventually forced to the surface of the pulper and removed from the pulp mixture altogether. Conveyor belts carry off the foreign material for recycling or thermal treatment. Optimal preparation via a series of sophisticated processes is now necessary before the pulp goes to the paper and cardboard machines. The flow of fiber and water undergoes a complex process involving grinding and cleansing, as well as improvement of the strength properties. In addition, various flows serve the purpose of separating long fibers from the short fibers, while at the same time providing for optimal treatment. With our white grades, a de-inking process follows, in which a foam mass containing printer's ink is formed and then skimmed off and eventually recycled for further use. Before the fiber paste is fed to the machines for further processing, laboratory technicians inspect the stock and conduct tests to determine whether essential property requirements have been met. This preparation process is fully automatic and monitored by means of computers. Farrell Paper Machines Numbers 4 and 5 produce fluting and liner for corrugated board. Our mill thus only produces and supplies the paper for the end product. The actual corrugated board is manufactured elsewhere. Once the preparation process is complete, the pulp goes through large sieves. High power spray valves apply an even web that is diluted to one hundredth of its original density. 
The so-called Fordrinier wire in paper machine number 4 measures 62 meters in length by 6 meters in width. This sieve receives the initial pulp mixture and water is extracted. A matted blanket of fiber mass remains. The extracted water is recovered and reintroduced into the cycle. Machine number 4 produces two layers of paper that are pressed together or couched. In this manner, papers of various layers are produced according to specific requirements and for any number of different purposes. The wet section of production is followed by the press section. In this phase, 500 tons of pressure literally squeeze the last remaining drops of water out of the paper. Every percentage point less moisture attained through the pressing procedure means that much less work during the drying process. This increases energy savings. The 60 meter long drying section consists of numerous heated drying cylinders arranged in a slalom formation. These cylinders are heated by the steam emitted from our electricity generating turbines and reduce the moisture content in the paper web to the prescribed level. The subsequent film press increases the paper's strength even more through the application of a thin layer of starch. Following the pressing process, the paper web receives a last drying. Before the web moves to the poke reel winder and is finally wound onto large tambours, a measuring device continuously monitors grammage, moisture, and pigmentation levels. The entire production process undergoes monitoring in the control center. All data readings and measurements are collected here for any system adjustments per computer. Roughly 60 kilometers of paperboard are wound onto a final tambour. This master tambour receives the paper web on the fly, which means that paper production can run at full speed without being halted while the new web, after it is severed from a completed tambour, is fed to a new master tambour for continuous winding. A full tambour weighs up to 40 tons. Before the paper is further processed, however, it undergoes various tests in our laboratory. Every customer has his own demands, and because our paper is produced 24 hours a day, our laboratory works day and night to ensure that strength values, moisture content, and grammage all meet the standards and are constantly upheld. Only after the quality requirements are met, the tambour on the rewinder is slit into formatted and customized reels. A robot labels each reel appropriately. Up to 50,000 tons of paper and cardboard are stored in our warehouse for our customers. From there, our products are loaded onto trucks or into containers for delivery overseas. Papier and Kartenfabrik Varel serves customers in over 60 countries worldwide. Nowadays, packaging is more essential than ever for protecting goods from heat, cold and moisture under all sorts of climatic conditions. A good example of this is the packaging employed in the frozen foods industry, where our product serves to protect foodstuffs while maintaining its form and at the same time repel moisture. Board machines numbers 2 and 3 provide the material for this purpose. Production begins by making cardboard on 10, or in some cases, 8-cylinder molds. The cardboard web is pressed, while still on the sieve, underneath a layer of felt. Consecutive layers are added one on top of the other, or couched, until a specific thickness is attained. The result is a multi-ply cardboard of great strength. After the wet section has been completed, a series of presses remove as much water as possible from the wet web. Finally, the web goes through a dryer, consisting of numerous steam-heated cylinders that reduce the moisture content down to the prescribed level. Board machine number two is additionally equipped with an inline lamination unit capable of simultaneously coating one or both sides of the board during operation. Our cardboard can be laminated with various paper grades, some of them produced in our own mill, according to the customer's requirements. As a result, our board combines optimal productivity with a broad variety of products. All of this enables us to meet the most challenging demands of packaging designers. Board machine number three offers our customers even more options, thanks to its unique refinement technology. It produces a gray cardboard that receives a layer of white fibers before a final coat of white pigments is applied by a coating unit. The result is a brilliant white coated board with a super fine grain that gives it exceptional printability. The coating can be applied to both sides if necessary. This double coated board provides carton manufacturers the basis for creating high quality sales packaging, whose interior is just as attractive as its exterior. 
Our cross cutter cuts both cross and lengthwise formats with millimeter precision. The plant constantly tests and monitors technical parameters like strength during the entire production process. We also conduct standard tests for bursting strength and bending stiffness, as well as tests for ply bond strength. The board continues on its way only after all of our quality checks have been met. A fully automatic packaging line receives, weighs, and indexes the paper pallets before they are shrink-wrapped and labeled for transport to our warehouse. Papi Arun's Kartenfabrik Fadel places high priority on its apprenticeship training programs. We give young adults the opportunity to further their education for careers as paper technicians, product designers, machine and plant construction engineers, as well as for positions in industrial sales and warehouse logistics. Furthermore, we offer our trainees in-house courses that enable our staff to achieve even higher levels of qualification. It is therefore not surprising that our trainees repeatedly receive top-of-class graduation honors year in and year out. Reliability, proximity, and personalized customer care form the foundation of our long-standing customer relations. Backed by outstanding productivity and a highly motivated and competent team, we have been proudly serving our customers with the highest quality of corrugated paper, cardboard, and related products for over 75 years. We are at the heart of your packaging solutions.